I want to start with how people keep saying that we're in the late stage of an economic cycle. So give us some perspective if that's the case, because it's been a long time since we've been at a late stage of an economic cycle. What does it typically look like? And is this kind of gyration what we can expect? So thanks first for having me on, Scarlett. Um, yes, we are in the late stages of a cyclical um, growth burst. Um, and the question is whether we get a handoff from cyclical growth to structural growth. Um, the late stage cycle, you see it very clearly, which is in housing, in automobiles, very cyclical sectors. They have slowed down considerably. But the U.S. is getting somewhat of a handoff to structural sources of growth. And that's why I don't see a recession in the next 18 to 24 months. Europe, it's a different story. There is no handoff going on there. And what the markets are trying to put their arms around are not just that growth has become more divergent, but the liquidity regime has changed radically. There's also a concern, Mohammed, and thank you for joining us, that durable goods, some of the data is starting to show some weakness. Durable goods today in the U.S. showing that investment isn't being plowed into by businesses at a time when they've had corporate tax cuts and there's been lots of things there to help stimulate the economy from a fiscal perspective. Are you worried that there's less fiscal levels to pull as we start to come to the tail end of the upshot in the U.S. economy there? There's certainly fewer fiscal levers to pull, um, and there are fewer monetary levers to pull. And that's why this transition to secular structural growth is so important. Um, keep an eye on the interaction of three things, um, business investment, household consumption, and government spending. All three are relatively robust. And the hope for the U.S. is that you get a virtuous cycle. Um, I think that's a real possibility. I, I must say, I don't share the gloom and doom about the U.S. growth outlook. I am worried about Europe, China, but not the U.S. I hear what you're saying, but others uh, in the industry are sounding the alarm on credit, especially corporate uh, over leverage. Uh, I'm thinking of Scott Miner, for instance, of Guggenheim, who says that the troubles we see in, in GE, for instance, might just be the tip of the iceberg. There's going to be a lot more issues with investment grade debt in the months to come. Where do you stand on that? So I think that there are pockets of excessive risk taking. That is the consequence of a very long period of not just low interest rates and ample liquidity, but the sense by the, by the markets that the Fed would always have their backs covered. So we have seen excessive risk taking in certain area, um, high yield bonds, certainly emerging market corporates, certainly. So yes, I am, I am with him in the sense of saying, be careful about the quality and the liquidity risks that you've taken on. And there will be shakeouts as we enter this period of more uncertain liquidity.